we just wanted you guys to be able to take in that view before we kind of introduce yourself to where we are today. Um, you know, we, we were in Durango. We basically are filming between Pagosa and Durango all week, trying to show you guys different parts of the country where you can go to stocked places and catch trout with your family. That's just what we've been known to do since 1934 here at Potski. And we stopped by the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Office in Durango. As you know, it's right attached to the fish hatchery. Cool place if you have kids to go take a look. They show you how they raise the fish. You can see hundreds of thousands of fish. And we asked them, where can we go where we can sit on the bank you don't have to rent a boat. You don't have to own a boat. You can just take your feet, walk out there and catch quality trout. They said Vallecito Reservoir. Not only Vallecito, you have 10 inch fish, you got 12 inch fish, you got fish up to a couple of pounds. Some good holdover trout here. And as you've seen today, we've been here for about an hour. We're getting ready to leave. It's getting hot. We've caught our limit. And it just shows you there's some awesome opportunities in the Durango area, beautiful scenery. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can stand on the bank just like we are and catch trout. First cast. Man, this feels like a really good fish. He's fighting out there. Man, he's making some nice runs. This. Wow. I might be a little impressed. I don't think it's this little stalker on this guy. I hope not. <laughs> it does not feel like a little stalker. I can tell you that. Let's see if it's a trout. I and mean, there's a lot of other species it is in here running. too. Look at this. I mean, it is running like crazy. He's got fire bait on, so we're assuming it's a trout. It is a it nice is a trout. Nice, look at nice the colors on that thing, man. Nice spider, good. Woo Get this guy to the net here. Look Ooh. at that, man, yeah. garlic wildfire. Nice, beautiful fish. Okay, I'm getting a tap over here, Shave. Second cast of garlic wildfire. There it is, there it is. Man, this is another one that feels really good too. Well, they did tell us that they there's some nice, they... nicer trout in here. Yeah, I mean, I'm fishing this little drop-off. Real of silver, look at this. Look at this guy run over here. I gotta keep an eye on that little line I got there too. <laughs> That's actually close. a really nice he's fish. Really nice fish. He's not as big as the last one, but he's close. Uh, get over I'll tell you what, he's way, bigger yeah. than, he's way bigger than some of them we normally catch. I mean, look at that. Nice quality fish. Look at this nice rainbow trout over here at Viacito Reservoir. They told us some bigger fish in here. That's definitely the case. All right, let me cover with you the setup I have for Viacito Reservoir. So all I'm doing is a very simple setup. I've got a quarter ounce barrel uh, sinker, an egg sinker, and hooked onto my main line. So it has the ability to slide back and forth. Then I've got a small barrel swivel set up here. Then after that, the little barrel swivel, so you can see that one right there. I've got about a 36 inch liter of six pound fluorocarbon. So the fluorocarbon liter is set up to our new fire hook. Since I'm fishing a lake and I'm fishing fire bait on this one, I went with a little bigger size. I got a size 10 fire hook. And today, all I've been using is garlic wildfire. So what I've found out so far is, the thing I like about garlic wildfire, it has three different colors in it. So today when I was using chartreuse, it wasn't very, working very well, but went to pink and orange. That has been the one that has been nailing them for me today. So I'm using just a small amount of fire bait and using this on the hook, on our size 10 fire hook. If I can get it untangled here. All right, so right here's the hook. You can see this little bit of fire bait. There's not much. I just want it floating up off the bottom. It's going to be about three feet off the bottom since there's a little bit of weeds down there and a small little setup like that. <laughs> you guys are going to be amazed with this one. This one is fire bait under a float. Floating bait with a float. And he's jumping. And he's jumping. Look at that. Little fish. But I'll take it. Just trying a different method over here of actually fishing fire bait. And look at this. Uh oh. Isn't that? There we go. Nice little stalker right there. Oh, big jumper. Do you see that thing? Yeah. Oh, look at that jump out there. That's like a steelhead. Look at that thing get up in the air. He's running right to me, though. Wow. Man. Oh, garlic wildfire again. Man. You got to be <laughs> kidding me. Woo. You got some air, that's for sure. Man. Just threw this in. It, was, it didn't even get to the bottom. I think it hit it on the way down. I was waiting for my line to get set and nailed it. Nice looking fish. Oh yeah. And look at that, you know, right on the side. We, Woo! We were talking about how there's better quality fish in this lake and I, I guess we're gonna have to believe them at this point. I mean, look at this. 
Silver Bullet. Anybody that's been to Southern Colorado and likes to trout fish has heard of Vallecito Reservoir. As a matter of fact, in my days 20 years ago when I used to write Colorado fishing and hunting news, it was a kind of water that they said, we need to put this in every issue because it gets a ton of fish, it's popular, and everybody knows about it. This was our first time here. And we quickly found out that the 2,718 surface acre reservoir is no stranger to lots of trout. By lots of trout, I mean in 2021, the state of Colorado stocked over 57,000 catchables, that's 10 to 13 inch rainbows, and some browns as well. Now we didn't see any browns at all, but we sure did well catching the rainbows. Now, we ran into guys at the local Walmart that told us, guys, if you wanna go fishing and catch a lot of fish, just go fish off the dam. Go anywhere near the dam, you'll do well. Well, sure enough, Joe and I drove up there. We spent about two hours at the lake and we fished right near the dam. And we were surprised because while many places we go, the stalkers are pretty small. They're 10 inches, 11 inches. You get excited if you catch a 12 incher. Here, that wasn't the case. These things looked like silver bullets. You know, they were very silvery, very aggressive. And you know what they liked? They liked the smell of garlic. We quickly found that out by using garlic wildfire fire bait. Why do we use it? Well, it's more than $2 cheaper than the competition and it works just as well. Simple as that. People in Colorado have been discovering this for years. You know why else we used it? Because we have confidence in it. We catch fish with it all the time and that's why Joe used it and he caught fish after fish after fish. Now sure enough, we didn't shuffle our feet much. We stayed in one place right along the bank because we wanted to make it back for lunch. We went there in Durango and we had other places to do later in the day. Now, if you want to come here, come near the dam, go near the marina, go anywhere you want and post up on the bank just like we did. Bring your garlic wildfire fire bait and you too could catch an easy limit just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.